Hey guys, good evening. I was here doing some end of book exercises from Federal for the folks in the Learn Checkers course. Federal, for those who don't know, is a very famous Russian book. Mm. In the Russian rule, which we take advantage of the diagrams that fit in the Brazilian rule, which are many because the two rules are very close. And then we find a diagram or two that are really good, very educational besides all of them. All the exercises are very good, but we take some diagrams like this one in which we can talk about various techniques in the same diagram. Very simple. And then we decide to make a video explaining the diagram so we can understand a bit of the checkers techniques, especially end game techniques. In this case, case from, from an exercise in the famous book. In this case, it's Fedorov, but there are also exercises in the book in the course. From Malamed, which is the most famous of all, uh, all the exercises, all the diagrams from Malamed's book that fit the Brazilian rule are there in the course. If you're not a student, come, you'll like it, okay? Especially because you can do it for 30 days for free without spending a penny. Only after 30 days, if you like it, then you go and continue the course. Listen, here's the thing, white is moving. How do I win? I have a black queen here in the A1 house. I have a white queen here in the D6 house. So I think of some ways to win here, where I imagine three ways, for example, I come with the queen here to F8. If the black queen comes over here, plague eight, I deliver huh? and I'm winning. But geez, this is too easy. It's not going to happen actually. But then I come here to S8. Eh? If the black queen over here, so I surrender my white queen. There is the obligation of capture I also capture. And the game is lost because the black pieces are descending. So this is another way to win. I know of two, I'm going to F8. If the black queen plays here at Seth Rex's house, I give up. I take the great diagonal, now I'm going to pass these two pieces. And then I'm going to win the match. This piece is going to be eliminated in a technique that is usually a technique after the pass from C1. There's a video on the channel Learn Checkers. Three ladies work against the top piece in the athlete's house. I can even point out the video here. In the upper corner, I'll point out. Okay, so I have this method here too. So I showed you three ways to win. Let me go back here. Oh, cool. Seems like coming home to F8 is good. But what if the black queen doesn't come to B2 or to C3 or to H8? If she comes here, for example, to E5 or pre-efficiency, there is nothing to do. And the exercise is for me to win. So this advance of my white piece from D6 to F8 seemed good. No? but it does not cover all possibilities. So let's think about another one. Mm. Look, people, how do I prevent the black queen from stopping here? <laughs> then I can keep the piece at D6's house. So I need to be at D6 when the black queen is at A1. She won't be able to stop here. Otherwise, I'll give up, remember? Then the black stone takes over and I take over. She does not stop here because otherwise I give up and take the larger diagonal. From six, I come to E5. She won't be able to stop in D4 because the piece is taking it. She won't be able to stop in E5 uh, because I am in D6, remember? I'm at D6. She won't be able to stop at F6. That's why I hand over the number from D6 to A5. Eh? F6, you have to take it out. And I'm drinking. So, so the big deal to restrict as much as possible, not let the black queen stop anywhere, is for me to be indecent when the black queen is still in accumulation. But how? If I'm already in D6 and it's white's turn, there is no way. I'm going to move from D6, then he comes to E5. <laughs> I can't go back to D6 now, so I have to reverse times. Yeah? How do I reverse time? So I am going to do this. From D6, I'm going to D8. Mm -hmm. This piece does not move. This piece, now it can stop here. Huh? In B2, there is no problem at all because I can't deliver my queen for the black piece to take backwards and I to take forwards. Huh? All right, what there. Now I come to B7 and I don't go back to C7, sorry. I don't go back to D6. I'm going to take a break in C7 
And now this piece can go back to one. Mm. It can't come this way, understand? Oh, it can't come this way because I'm delivering and taking the great diagonal. So let me go back. Can't go here, can't go there. Let me come back here one more time. You can't go here because I am taking it. You can't go here because I am taking it. Mm -hmm. You can't go there because I'm delivering it. Yeah? Uh, so the only place the black lady has is to return to the audio house. Huh? When she comes back to one, now I can go back to D6. Mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, I reverse time with that little trick I did here at CC's house. Now oh, it's a black move. The black queen can't, black or red queen, right? Black queen can't stop here. I'm delivering, I'm drinking. The black lady can't stop. Here, because I'm delivering, taking the long diagonal, I'll get three queens, I'll kill this piece, and then I'll win by force. It's a long path, but it wins the game. She can't stop at D4 either, where I'm drinking, nor at F5, where I'm drinking, nor at F6, nor at G7 nor at h8 because i'm handing over to only taking remains for the black one to deliver and lose the match so that's it there are four techniques i need to know in this simple diagram because at the very beginning when i start the exercise if i go to s8 if i go to f8 uh, it works with the three techniques i showed you but it doesn't work with the fourth if he comes here for example there's nothing to do so I had to do a time reversal to be black pawn when I was here in the D6 house. Th thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. A hug. See you next time. I'm out. No?